She is a physician and she is currently getting her PhD um, in vaccination medicine. Good morning, everybody. It is my great pleasure to be representing my country, Kenya, my fellow colleagues at FIU, as well as the institution we called our home away from home for the past six weeks. I'm excited to be sharing with you my vision for opportunities for collaboration between higher education institutions in the field of global health security. Next slide. We live in an interconnected, but more importantly, an interdependent world. The global health security challenges we face remind us of this fact every day. I'd like you to think about the growing resistance to drugs that we use to treat infections, as well as the emergence of infectious diseases. It stands to reason that multi-drug resistant gonorrhea in Kenya, if left unchecked, will become a problem in Australia. Extensively drug resistant tuberculosis in the United Kingdom, if left unchecked, will become a problem in Nigeria. And if there's any among us here today who doubt how interconnected we are, the recent outbreak of Ebola in West Africa spread faster to North America than it did to North, South, or East Africa. Next slide. As we think about the global health security challenges that we face, I'd like you to visualize a relay race. This is a unique race in that we don't race against each other. In this race, we are all on the same team, all nations of the world on the same team. And at different points in history and different points in time, each nation will be asked to run a segment of the race in order to secure our shared future. So one day, it will be Senegal. The next day, it will be Cameroon and then Swaziland, America, Burundi. It's difficult to imagine that Jamaica won the last World Athletics 4 by 100 meter relay race by having each of its members train separately, and then on the day of the race, they just flawlessly came together to win. That they just instinctively knew how best to pass the baton, that they intuitively knew how best to position themselves to maximize on each other's strengths. In that same way, I ask, when it comes to global health security, are we really running at our best when we've had no opportunity to train together? I propose that collaborations between universities are some of the most important ways that nations can begin to collaborate in the field of global health security. Next slide. Universities are at the forefront of new knowledge generation, and they are an integral part of society's development. The African fellows in this building today can attest to that very fact having just completed their six-week fellowships at North American universities, and seeing firsthand the effect that universities can have on the communities that they serve and will have on our future lives. Dr. Drew Force, the 28th president of Harvard University, once said that the new knowledge economy is necessarily global, and the reach of universities must be so as well. I propose a global collaboration of universities that harnesses the strengths and opportunities of each partner that brings great minds together for the common good. When it comes to global health security, there are two areas in which universities can collaborate, infectious disease research and infectious disease training. Now, in our current environment, direct funding to universities from the government is slowly declining, and so universities have to reposition themselves to attract new sources of income. Joint grant applications are one of the means to do so. For universities both in the developed and the developing world, there will need to be some time protection of staff who would be dedicated to identifying and pursuing these collaborations. But for universities in Sub-Saharan Africa in particular, there needs to be investments in, uh, institu in developing institutionalized grant management policies, as well as investments in human resource capital, so that we can have the full complement of a grant management team so that the process of applying, executing, and benefiting from these joint grants are um, conducted on an even playing field and that both partners benefit. I propose that each university in Sub-Saharan Africa will have a sister university across the globe. And for the purposes of the forum here today and the Africa-America collaboration that the Obama administration is pushing for, I propose that each major university in Sub-Saharan Africa should have a sister university in North America. Whether that collaboration took place at the university level, the high administrative level, whether it was college to college, school to school, or department to department, the results of such a collaboration should be visible in a few years. 
we should be able to ask the question, who is your sister university? What have each of you brought to the table? And how has it benefited the local community as well as the world at large? Next slide. As I conclude, I'd like to remind you of that relay race and the role each of our countries will be asked to play in securing our shared future. I'd also like, to to, I'd also like you to think about the role each of us individually can play in ensuring our country's success. We've been given an opportunity to begin to plant the seeds for that type of collaboration, to build the foundation for that collaboration. The time for meaningful collaboration in preparation for our imminent global health security challenges is now. Because when it comes to global health security, we'll either win that race together or lose it apart. Thank you.